Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can tear cloth easily in Blender. Now I have this uh, piece of cloth here, or actually it's at this point it's just a uh, plane. Uh, it's been subdivided about 50 times. I'm going to add more, you can see all the subdivisions. And the first thing that you have to do is create some pinning for the outer edges of the cloth. We're going to go to the vertex options here. Click on that. Click on this plus sign in the vertex groups. We're going to call this cloth pin. Cloth pin. Enter. And we're going to go back into edit mode by pressing tab on our keyboard. And A to deselect everything. If it's selected, press, press A to deselect everything. We're going to hold down Alt and Shift. We're going to left click on this edge here. And the purpose of holding down Alt is to select a line of vertices. And we hold down Shift and click on the left click on the next set of uh, vertices on that edge. Click on that edge. Left click on this edge also, and the same thing on this edge. Remember, hold down Shift and Alt to select all these edges at the same time, all the vertices. And I'm going to click on the sign here. That way, uh, these vertices are assigned to this uh, vertex group of cloth pin. We can get out of edit mode by pressing Tab. Actually, let's go back into edit mode. I'm going to press A to deselect everything. And what simulation we're going to do now when it comes to cloth tearing is we're going to have to, you know, this is the same principle you can apply to any cloth tear at all. And after you've assigned the uh, pinnings to the edges or to whatever part of the cloth you wanted to assign it to, we're going to use a knife tool to cut a hole, or some lines actually, in the middle of our cloth. Uh, plane here. You can you know cut lines or cut whatever part you want to cut but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to cut in the middle. So press K on your keyboard and the knife tool comes up. This little knife comes up and hold down left you know, your left mouse button and click and drag across. Enter. K again. Left click and drag. I'm going to make an X somewhat on mine because this is where I want uh, the cloth tear to occur and the more cuts you make the more of a realistic cut or tear you can get so press I'm gonna press K again left click and drag enter K again left click and drag right there enter and it doesn't have there's no uh, rhyme or reason to this you just pretty much cut because you want it to look as jagged as possible and as rough as possible so you can just can cut anywhere. And then with all these cuts highlighted in orange, press the space bar on your keyboard and select edge split. And that's going to cause these uh, new cuts in here with the, that we've created with the knife tool to be separated from the rest of the mesh. So to speak, it's going to be separated at these at these cuts here. Now when you go into uh, object mode you can't see the cuts which is what you want because you, what we're wanting to do is have maybe an object fall through or maybe a person or a car or something to fall through this like a canopy kind of deal to create a, a tear a hole in, in the top of our cloth to create a cloth tear we're not going to assimilate that we're just using that as, as an example and once we've created those cuts we've uh, added the edge split to our cuts and once again, one, uh, let me reiterate that when you press space, you type in edge. Usually when you press space, a whole list of options come up. But you just type in E, D, G, E, and edge. Is that how you spell edge? I think that's how you spell it. edge. You have to do it in edit mode, actually. Space bar, you just type in edge split, E, D, G, E and then splits and that comes up and then you just that's how you can pull up edge splits from the space bar okay let me get out of this enter 
And then once we've done all of our cuts and we've assigned all the edges for cloth pinning, we're going to go to our cloth options, which is this icon here. So I'm click on that. And then with our plane selected, we're going to click on cloth. Now the presets here are fine. Usually what I do is I, uh, I think cotton has a more uh, believable tear than denim or leather. Leather really doesn't have a uh, the tear that we're looking for, but cotton does. So we let's click, uh, let's click on cotton. And once we've done that, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to go to shape. Click on that, and then the pin group. Click in that space and click click on cloth pin. Click on that. And some options that you might want to consider would be the let me pull this out a little bit more. The quality steps. Uh, the higher this is, the more realistic the cloth simulation looks. So let's bump this up to like maybe eight. And your speed multiplier is at one right now. If you were to uh, increase this, uh, the higher this is, the faster the cloth tears. So if the cloth is pulling apart, that shows a more realistic look in terms of the speed or the, the pressure or the uh, force of the tear. Or if something's falling through um, your cloth, you want it to go through really quickly. You want the cloth to react to what is falling through it. So this is going to have to tear a lot quicker. So that you can uh, change this if you want to, but I'm going to leave it as it is. So our quality steps going to leave that as it is. And our speed manipulator, leave that at 1. We increase this to 8. So we're going to press play now and see what happens. And there you go. That's how you tear your cloth. You see that piece is falling down right there. Actually, let's let's uh, put in the plane at the bottom so that that piece of cloth can just fall on top of a plane. Shift A, mesh, plane. Let's scale this up. I want to put collision. And let's play this again. Play. And that's how you can tear cloth in Blender. And it looks pretty realistic. Like I said before, the higher the... Um, The higher the, uh, let me see, let me click on our cloth here. The quality steps, the better looking it's going to look. Now you've got these little, uh, you can see the uh, the mesh in terms of the appearance of the mesh. Uh, and the cloth, in order to get rid of this, just press W on your keyboard and shade smooth and then that's gone. But yeah, that's how you can uh, create torn cloth in Blender pretty quickly and pretty easily. And this is today's Blender Quick Tip. And once again, thank you guys for watching the videos, and I hope you guys have learned from this uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are uh, subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.